Hey guys, it is Wednesday. I spent uh, a couple hours in the morning packing up, getting ready to go camping. I'm bringing a, a pillow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got some leftover food that I figured I might as well bring. Yeah, had been done driving a commune auto car. And we're, we're gonna go up to the Bruce Peninsula. Yeah. Getting a bit of a late start today because I had to take Bento to the vet, get some blood work done for him. And uh, the vet said it was okay to go camping still, so we're gonna go. And uh, yeah, getting out of the city a little bit crazy. Man, the 400 series highways, guys, it's nuts out there. And uh, yeah, once we got to Orangeville, we got some. Uh, some food at a Walmart and I switched into the back seat so now I get to hang out with Bento and uh, yeah Bento he's just such a good dog he's so cute it uh, it's about four and a half ish hours of pure driving to get to the Bruce Peninsula or at least where we're camping so it took us more like five maybe five and a half ish hours you know with all the stops that we were making partially for bento and just like I don't know traffic that kind of stuff yep and uh, we checked in fine with the campgrounds things are like slightly automated now and they had free firewood with uh, the it's just included with your camping reservation so that's different. We we actually bought some wood on the way because it's never been like that before. So, oh well, that's fine. And uh, yeah, we were here kind of late, so we got a fire going and set up the tent, cook some hot dogs, and that's more or less it for this day, guys. You know, it was dark, so I didn't really film too much. But anyways, after a decent night of sleep, it's morning time, Thursday morning, and I'll give you a little bit of a tour. <laughs> Again, we got in so late, I didn't realize until like later. But yeah, the washroom is just right across from our campsite. And we had a big discussion about where the water was, and it's like literally just right there. You can get some drinking water. I guess there's an old uh, outhouse or something right there, kind of right next to our um, our camping spot. It's a decent amount of bush in the way though, so I didn't really like stink or whatever. Anyways, taking Bento for a little bit of a walk around the campgrounds. Our campground's kind of neat. It's close to like two separate lakes, so yeah, this is one of the lakes. Pretty nice. It's got a good path. Good for dog walking. Yeah. I got up some of the cucumber that I bought like yesterday. And then uh, cooked up some bacon and pancakes. They were good. Yeah. What a morning. Also, I ate some of the cucumber salad. Yeah, it was decent. We tried to get Penta to eat his breakfast. He's not really much of a breakfast dog. So, uh, yeah. I think we're, we're starting the hike over to the grotto. I guess uh, near Cypress Lake. It was probably one of the lakes that we were like, went by at the uh the morning or maybe the hiking like trailhead is really close to the lake i could look at a map but i'm not going to so uh yeah it really wasn't that long of a walk to get to indian head cove i guess we took like the easier path because it was basically just a flat path and uh yeah i was i was kind of hyped to be here the water is looking very blue and clean. There were some signs saying that they don't recommend swimming, but the water is so calm. 
I have uh, no worries about undertide or like a big wave coming and pushing you into the rocks. Because uh, just how calm it was. And now I made it look like I got in the water right away, but it is cold. I probably spent like 20 minutes standing <laughs> knee high being like, I'll get in one of these days. But once you're in, it's not too bad. But like, man, it, it is painful to get in. <laughs> but look at how clear this water is. Some good stuff going on. Yeah, other people have some uh, dogs that are water-loving dogs. It's too bad Bento is not into the water, so... Usually somebody is hanging out with him on the shore. Sometimes I would, but I didn't really feel much of it. This part's pretty neat too. It looked like it'd be warmer, but it was it was just as cold. It is connected to the lake after all, so Yeah. Overall, Indian Head Cove. Very nice. It's a good spot to be. It's too bad it's so far away from uh, Toronto, otherwise I guess more people would come and it'd be pretty crowded. <laughs> oh yeah, the snake kind of came out of nowhere, kind of surprised me. I was just like sitting on the rocks on my towel and then it like seemed like it slithered out from underneath of me. And I'm pretty sure it's just a gardener snake, so it's not dangerous, but... You know, I got that human instinct to be like, ooh, snake. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, over here is a natural arch. I thought this was the grotto. But this isn't the grotto. This, this is the natural arch. If you go on top of the uh, natural arch, it's right next to the grotto, or the Indian Head Cove, so. You get a pretty nice view from here. The grotto is just like right next to this, so it's like maybe a minute or two walk. A two minute walk, maybe? And now this is the grotto. And I did mean to look up like what is a grotto exactly? That this is a grotto and the other stuff wasn't a grotto? Maybe it's like the high cliff edges of it? I don't know. Anyways, it, it was neat. I guess you could kind of climb down in there. I think last time we were here, pretty sure Max, and maybe Tyler, climbed down into it. I think uh, if I go back, I'll try to remember to bring a life jacket and then like swim over there. It's not so far that you'd need a life jacket. I just, I like to lazily float around. Anyways, we're taking a different trail back. I think this is horse head trail or horse tail trail or something. It's uh, a bit rougher compared to the one that we took to get to Indian Head Cove. So it's a little bit more fun. Lots of uh, interesting rock features to enjoy. And we have hiked this, but in the opposite direction. So it kind of feels like a different hike doing it the other way this time. Yeah. Fun little cave here. That's cool. You know, we were kind of like bear cautious. There were signs saying that a bear lives in the park, so every time you leave your campsite, you have to make sure that uh, you don't have any food stuff out. But yeah, I was kind of thinking, I was like, oh, you know, some of these caves would be good for a little bear hideout. But uh, yeah. Didn't really see anything like that. Just some cool rocks. Some neat trees. Yeah. So after that rocky beach, that's uh we're pretty close to the um the parking lot now. I think we just like walk along a boardwalk and then a lake. Oh yeah, some cool mushrooms back there. They look tasty. Yeah, Cypress Lake, I assume. And uh, yeah, we're back to the daily use of parking lot. And then there's a little path that uh, just goes over to the campground. And uh, yeah, these are the washrooms. These are apparently new. 
I got a flush toilet and uh, running water for the sink. Pretty good stuff. And I think we're all kind of tired, so I had a good nap in the tent. Everybody petted Bento. He's occasionally, he's, he's trying to growl at the neighboring uh, noises. But uh, yeah, we, we went and got some more of that, well, some of that free firewood for the first time. And we got a fire going, we cooked some hot dogs, had some snacks. Then we like broke up the fire for a bit and uh, went to the nearby lake, the different lake, for, uh, for a second swim before it got too uh, dark out here. And since this isn't a part of like Georgian Bay, we were kind of hoping that it'd be warmer. It was maybe like one degree warmer, it wasn't really warmer. <laughs> But it was still nice and clear. Some soft sand underneath. So all in all, a pretty good swim. I did go in here. I guess I didn't take pictures of me like in the water. And uh, yeah. Adam and Don went off to get some more wood. And then I just like fanned the embers that we had going in the, the pit to get uh, our old wood going. And they came back with more wood and uh, yeah, kicked up some more dogs, hung out by the fire and just talked about stuff, you know, some of that classic Ontario shit talking. But uh, yeah, look at Bento, he's so funny. He loves being in the tent. Cause I guess it's like everyone's sleeping on the floor so it's like a big dog pile. He could just like run around and be all cuddly. Yeah. All right. Then Friday. Kind of a rough sleep last night. Pretty much once we had settled down, in like 10 or so minutes, a raccoon came to our camp and was like making a weird noise and Bento was barking at him and, you know, just getting woken up by weird sounds in the night. Definitely lots of like squirrels and stuff going around and like screeching. Yeah, Bento. Bento occasionally giving a little bark out into the woods too. Which, you know, it's getting bad, but it is what it is. Oh yeah. And some of the loud banging we were probably hearing is uh, maybe a bear got into here? Like, I don't know if a raccoon could have opened and started slamming those doors around. But yeah. We uh, took Bento back over to Cypress Lake for a quick walk. It was a morning walk. You can see all the morning dew and the spider webs in the, in the marsh. That's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, it was a good little walk. We uh, got back to the camp site and uh, busted out the stove, made some pancakes. I kind of wanted to make bacon again, but uh, we didn't have like paper towel to clean up all the bacon grease. Like yesterday, we kind of used a lot of paper towel. So yeah, after breakfast, had a quick nap. You know, this time we could actually go to sleep with everything being chill. And uh, when I woke up, Adam. <laughs> Just the heating up a, a pizza bun in the the embers of the fire. Pretty funny. He said it did work. It did heat it up and it tasted pretty good. So, yeah. Anyways, we got to be out of here at 11. So, by the time we were all packed up and uh, loaded into the car, it was probably 11.20. And there was like a security guy driving around making sure everybody's out, I guess. He tried to park in a different uh, parking lot and he came by and he's like, no, you guys gotta figure something out. So, had him talk to the information guys and they uh, gave us a temporary visitor pass for another couple of hours, specifically next to the yurt camping ground. So, yeah, this is where the yurts were. And again, I mean, it's the same lake that we were at yesterday evening, but just in a different area. Very clear water. 
Bento, looking sad. We, uh, we, we did bring him a little bit off leash and had him run around. He's so much happier if he can just run around. <laughs> and since there's literally no one else at this uh, spot, kind of seem fine. Just give him some off leash time. And look at him, he's even getting a little bit into the water. Yeah, he's very stick motivated. He wanted to get that big stick from the water. Eventually he did get it out, so that's good. He's conquering his water fears. Although it's pretty cold, so I don't think he'd be super into it. But what he was into was running around on the dock. Yeah, sometimes Adam would run around with him and he'd really get going. That was the other thing, is when we had the leash on, like, sometimes it would, like, get caught in the little cracks and stuff, and that wasn't great. So yeah, it's fun to uh, let him run around. What a funny dog. Anyways, it's 1 p.m. So that's when our parking permit ended and uh, we got going. Yeah, somebody's biking deep into the Bruce Peninsula. On our way back to Toronto, we stopped in Wyerton to go to uh, the Sandwiches food truck. I got this poutine. It was giant. I guess I, I, I didn't have the... I wasn't hungry enough to eat the whole thing right now. So that's probably good. But, uh, it, it, you know, it was a good place. It's right next to a Salvation Army, so... I did walk through it and looked at stuff, but there wasn't anything too interesting. And then, uh, yeah, we got going again. Bento seemed a little bit cold, so I got him into his uh, thing and he wanted to be on my lap, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you know, tiny dogs. Who knows what they really want? Yeah. Just a stop in a random town behind uh, some uh, commercial buildings. A little bento walk around. And uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close. Back in Toronto, pretty much. Back into the highway craziness. Whew. Guys, yeah, driving through the 401. This place is crazy. Don't recommend it. But yeah. They're dropping me back off at my place, so pretty convenient for me. I still gotta, you know, take care of some stuff, but that's pretty much it, guys. I'm just gonna go chill out. Later. <laughs>